1,000 meter. They sprinting away from the 1,000 meter marker. In the stars was slow again. Three to four lanes when the starters said go. Coastal Storm is very quick in the yellow silks and Silky Speech is pacing it with them. Zambezi D's right there, the white blinkers of Miss Divine. Innocently Naughty's on the inside, Dancing Princess. The Edge is about four or five lengths off the leader at this stage with Retrial, then Vegas Lights. Towards the inside of that one, there's Jade and Shreya. As they come to the last 400 metres, Coastal Storm is the leader. Towards the outside is Dancing Princess. Silky Speech is still right there. Over on the inside of that, Innocently Naughty. Dieci still got about two or three lengths to make up. Coastal Storm the leader. Dancing Princess and running on in the stars after being slow into stride. In the stars is coming strongly now. And in the stars hit the front over the last 100 metres. In the stars. Stars won a Dieci ran second, third to Dancing Princess. Right, look at this run, number 12 in the stars. Uh, if my producer can go back to the start after this uh, replay. Now this is the master of my fate, it shows you there 23 lengths behind. Now recall if you watch that barrier trial, it does not say it was slowing to stride, but I recall, and these will confirm that, that this horse was very slow to go in the stars, so you'd have to ignore that 23 lengths. And it comes good here today. We're slowing to stride again by four or five lanes. And in a matter of strides, makes it up to win it. Second, the favorite, Dieci, a 1-2 for Dennis Dreyer. Dancing Princess runs third. Coastal Storm will take fourth. And then Vegas Lights. And further back in the run was Innocently Naughty. And they were followed by Bourbon Bacay as we continue to run it. So the winner is now in the middle of your picture, the white silks and explodes through between runners the runner-up is two off the right Dieci, but in the stars the master of my fate for Fasfontein stud comes good and let's go back to that slow-mo replay at the gate it's drawn towards the inside at gate number six and let's just watch gate number six when the starter says go and there we go head up in the air and a slow to go and an amazing win because it's a thousand meters you never get left anyway and you've got to say a really good victory over a thousand meters in particular thanks raymond until the third back to the studio Well, uh, firstly, uh, thanks to Stuart Ferry, the assistant trainer, for uh, helping us with some interviews for the weekend. But uh, Dennis Dry is going to talk us about uh, this filly, bred and owned by Fast and Steen. So well done to the Kalmansons, uh, daughter of Master of My Fate, gave Dennis so much of joy when he used to be uh, training with the yard uh, and a superb looking racehorse as well, Master of My Fate. But this filly, Den, we, we all saw the barrier trial. It just went horribly wrong for her. Absolutely. Yeah, no, listen, she's not easy. But, you know, having said that, she's, she's not a dilly filly. And uh, a big thank you to Carl and Amanda and Susan and the whole team at Farsentown. I rate this filly very highly, Dees. But, as I say, there's just some little thing in the pens. And uh, we worked on it after the barrier trial. And we've been working on it at home. And I just hope Carl listened to me and had the faith that I said to him, I've got in this filly. So going forward, if we can just get her mind a little bit right, I think she's got a bright future. To see her win over the minimum trip must be very promising as well. Well, that's what I said to Shawnee. I said, Shawnee, you know what she's capable of. Um, her work at home is phenomenal. And um, I said, if, you know, if it goes to ape, don't panic. Don't bustle her. Just ride her to run a place. And if she's good enough, maybe she could get there. And Jim, your little filly ran a cracker. But I think I told you, this filly has got wheels. Well, all the best to the den. Before you leave us, anything else you like? These, I've got a nice card. I'm hoping for maybe another one during the day. Thanks for that. Lovely. Dennis Dreyer. This gentleman, he's going to help us with the other one on the day. 
Uh, he knows the horses. He gets to work them. And Sean, uh, we don't want to harp on it, but uh, that barrier trial, you just left her alone. I watched it repeatedly. You didn't want to go and chase the other horse. You just let her do a barrier trial on her own. Yes, you know, these, uh, she was... If people read into barrier trials, then I don't know. But this filly still got left about 10, 20 lengths. And she still managed to finish up in the time that she's supposed to. Yes. So on that, I said to the boss, I said, uh, this filly got a bit of wheels, but she's very difficult. Well done to the team, to Stewie, Mr. Dreyer. And to the boy who works almost 90% of the time. He's done a wonderful job with this filly. If I get this filly right, this, this filly can run. You were slow away. It's five furlongs. It's short down the straight. You didn't panic. And uh, when you asked her the question, she gave you all the answers. These, you know, uh, I know my companion was one of the horses to beat in the race. And uh, when this filly got left five lengths, I picked my head up and uh, I said, you know what, I'll ri ride my filly to run a place. And uh, <laughs> going through the 500, I said, it's race over. <laughs> because uh, I was going so well, these. I was just waiting for the gaps to open and I was just picking them off. And uh, she won a good race. Well done to the owners for the opportunity for my boss. This filly can run. We just have to get a, a, a mind right. And uh, we take it from there, you know. I think she's got ability, but uh, well done to the kid. He rode a good race on that other filly too for other owners. So it was a good, good race for the boss. Nice exactly for the stable. Now, what about the balance of Mr. Veal's rides? Yeah, this like the boss, uh, he's hoping for another one. You know, uh, Escape Club, crying for this distance. First time on a cross, cross gallop was good. So, you know, I'm very confident that you'll give me a big run again today. So I'm hoping this, if I'm not back here, just well done to the team again. This filly is difficult, but uh, we managed to get here and she won a race fast. Just one question on Escape Club. The distance will suit much better? This, I would love it to ride in a 2000. The 1750 is up by alley. I think it's, it's what she's been dying to run in, so I can give her a little bit of a chance. And she's got that turn of foot, so I'm hoping because, you know, Stewie also got a share in the filly and the boss and his wife, them, so... It's a pressure ride for me. <laughs> so, so, so. <laughs> so, you know, I'm out there trying. While I'm here, this happy birthday to my mother-in-law. It's her birthday today. I'm sorry I'm not there more, but, uh, you know, we, we spent it with it yesterday. My wife and my two boys are there with her today, and I hope they're having a fantastic day. They better send me some cake later. Well done. Shot this. Lovely. Sean Veal in the stars. Pencil her in. She looks like a, a filly that's going to win a fair share of races. She's worn over a thousand meters, bred for a minimum a mile. And uh, she's come through with uh, things going wrong for her at the start. Uh, this was a win full of mirrors. 12, 11, 10, and 9 is the way they cross the line here, race number two. Up next, pick six time. Carry over, 300,000. Estimated pool, 1,900,000. All that will begin in 1,400 hours. Get your bets on before two o'clock.